G'day everyone, Percy here from toptechskills.com. In this tutorial, I'll take you through the Ansible template module, a super powerful module that allows you to template a file onto a remote host using the Ginger 2 templating language. As always, there are time codes in the description so you can skip ahead to anything we cover in this video. Also in the description, you'll find an in-depth article on toptechskills.com about the Ansible template module. All right, let's jump straight in. The first thing we'll do with the template module is just explore its default behavior of templating a file out from your local host onto the remote host. The first thing I'll do is create a new folder in our directory called templates. The templates directory is where Ansible searches for templates by default. Let's say we're configuring an application called my app. What I'd like to do is create a template in here that is myapp.conf.j2. The .j2 extension is the extension for a Ginger2 file, which is the name of the templating language that Ansible uses for its templates. So now that we're configuring our application, one of the things I'd like to set for my application is the environment, so dev staging production. And what we'll do in the Ginger2 syntax is use our double curly braces, and this implies that we're templating out a variable. So I'm going to template out an env variable, now this variable doesn't exist yet, and the way that I'm going to do that is jump back into our playbook, and I'm going to add a vars area, and I'm going to set the env to staging in this case. So this is a global variable that's going to be templated out into our configuration file. The other thing that I'd like to put on there is some host specific variables. So when we use template, we can not only template out global variables that we've set in our playbooks or our group vars, but we can also template variables that exist only for that specific host. So for instance, let's set the local IP to the Ansible host. What we can also do is set the local user to the Ansible user. And this will just demonstrate the way that we can template out host specific variables. I've saved that file now. I'm going to run back over to our playbook and we're going to make a task to template this file out onto our remote hosts. So I'm going to create a new task here and I'll say template file onto, onto remote hosts. We're going to use the template module. For the template module, we need to, by, as a minimum, set the source and the destination. The source is going to be the path to the file relative to the templates directory. So this will be myapp.conf.j2. Don't forget the .j2 extension for your templates. For the destination, since it's a configuration file, I'm going to put it at Etsy and I'm going to put it at myapp.conf. The reason I've removed that .j2 is that it's no longer a template. In our destination, it's going to be the final file where these variables have been replaced with the templated uh, variable value. The other thing, since we're writing to Etsy, I'm going to put become true. Now let's run that playbook against both of our hosts and see what happens. What we expect to happen is that our template file is templated out and our variables are replaced with the correct values. You can see here that the task has succeeded. Let's run over to our hosts and we'll do a cat on etsymyapp.conf. And you can see here on the CentOS machine, the env is staging, which is the global variable that we set. The local IP is that instance's IP and the local user is CentOS here. Let's do the same thing on Ubuntu. I'm going to cat etsymyapp.conf. And you can see here that env staging is the same on this host as well, but the local IP is different and the local user is different. So that's the default behavior of template. The next thing we'll do is we'll jump into some more advanced behaviors. So a really common thing you'll wanna do when you're templating files onto remote hosts, especially if they're configuration files with sensitive data inside, is that you'd like to explicitly set the ownership and permissions of that file. So we've templated out our myapp.conf onto our servers. Let's have a look what the permissions are of that file by default. I'm gonna jump over to Ubuntu and do ls-lah on etsy myapp.conf. And we can see that we have 644 permissions on the file and it's owned by root and the group is root. The fact that the owner and group are root is a byproduct of us using become, which does this uh, task as the root user. If we jump back over, we can see that the 644 permissions allows anyone on the system to be able to read this file, but only root to be able to write to it. What I'd like to do is to just limit the read write permissions to root only and prevent anyone else from being able to read this file. Let's take a look at how we do that with the template module. So what we can do with the template module, like the file and the copy module, is we can set the owner, we can set the group, and we can set the mode of the file as we template it out. So we've already got the file owned and group as root, but what I'd like to do is explicitly set that. 
just in case someone's modified that file on the actual system or one of our previous tasks has changed the ownership to some other user. I'm going to set it explicitly to root and what I'm going to do to limit the ability for all other users to read the file is to set the mode to 0600. I'm going to run the playbook again and what we expect to happen is that the read permissions for the group and the others are going to be removed on the hosts. Let's jump back over to our Ansible host, our Ubuntu host, and we'll run ls-lah again. And we can see that the read permissions there have been removed for the group and for others. So now only root can read and write that file. Let's do the same thing on the CentOS host. We'll do etsy myapp.conf. And we can see here that the permissions are as we expect. No one else other than root can read or write to that file. And that's what we want. So that's how you set the owner group and mode of a file directly as you template it out. What if you'd like to template out multiple files from your local host onto a remote host? Well, one way to do that would be to duplicate these tasks. For instance, copy and paste that task and do it again. But usually what you'd like to do is template out multiple files that might be related and have the same permissions. A more efficient way to do that is to use the loop keyword. So I've created an extra little file here in our templates directory called myapp-release.j2, which is just going to be a file that contains the version of the app that we've put onto the system, for instance. I've put in a little variable here called my app version. That variable doesn't exist yet. Let's go back into our playbook and add that to our vars area. So let's do my app version and we can make that v1.1. Let's save that. And now in our playbook, what we'll do is we'll flesh out this loop. So what I'd like to do is put the myapp.conf on there. And I'd also like to put the my app release file on there. So now we need to modify our template call to work with our loop. So first thing here is I'm just going to replace that myapp.conf with item. And then in here in the destination, I wanna put them both in Etsy. So I'm just gonna replace that second part with item. Let's run this playbook against both of our hosts now. And what we expect to happen is that both of our files are templated onto the remote hosts with the owner set to root, the group set to root, and the mode set to 0600. Let's have a look in our output there. So both of the files have succeeded on both hosts. Let's jump over to the host and take a look at our files. I'm going to run ls-lah on Etsy my app star here, and that's going to show us all the files that start with my app. So we can see here the 0600 permissions with the user and the group of root on both our etsymyapp.conf and etsymyapp-release. So let's cat the output of these files just to make sure that the content is correct. I'm going to do cat etsy, let's start with the myapp.conf. And you can see here that permission is denied by default. And that's because we're logged in as CentOS and we've got 0600 permissions on there. So only root is going to be able to read that. If I just go back and I do sudo cat, that's going to allow us to read it because sudo lets you run the command as the root user. So you can see here that the output of the file is as we expect. Let's do sudo cat etsy my app dash release. And we can see that the output there is my app v1.1. So that's how you'd use template to template out multiple files onto the remote host using the loop keyword. Thanks a lot for watching everyone. I really hope you found that tutorial useful. If you have any questions at all about anything you saw in the video, please hit me up in the comments and I'll gladly get back to you. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. And if you'd like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.